Hello there. Today I will be talking to you about the different towers in Tower Wars. Let's get started. The Archer is A plus class. It has versatile single target damage, with sniper class and machine gun class. Sniper class does more DPS, but has a higher reload of 2 seconds, so it cannot switch targets well. The machine gun has less DPS but a reload time of 0.75 seconds, so it is good for fast troops such as the Mad Cow. The Slime is S plus class. It has low damage, but an area of effect slow, and is crucial to every defense. The Sticky Tower class slows a lot, but has a small area of effect. The Big Slime has a less impactful slow, but a bigger area of effect. The Magma is A class. It has high area of effect damage, but a high reload time. The Magma Tower is the counter for early game 75 cost zombies. The Infernal Tower sets enemies on fire, burning them for half a percent max health every second. The Vulcano has a low chance to stun enemies, which can win you games late game when towers do not matter. The Witch is an area of effect debuffer and S class, increasing damage taken from that mob for 10 seconds. This is 40% at rank 1 and 80% at rank 2. This tower is rarely used, but is very powerful and will help you win more games. The Villager is B class, and prevents nearby turrets from debuffs. This radius is 5 blocks at rank 1 and 10 blocks at rank 2. The Villager is the counter for creepers, squids, black spiders and spider jockeys. They are essential to protect you from creepers especially disable in your towers. The Enderman is F class which teleports mobs back to the beginning of your screen with a very high reload time. One of the most useless towers in the game. Please 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 don't use it. It is so bad that it is not viable at all. Worst towers in the game. The Guardian is B class. It is an area of effect tower which shoots in a line. The Mind Control class has a chance to make mobs walk the other way for a couple seconds and is very strong on maps such as Imperial and Battle Hold. The Fatigue class is not as good, and is very situational. It disables the special effect of nearby mobs. This is useful against High Priests and Creepers. The Tesla is B class. It is a single target tower which has increasing damage, up to a cap. The Beam class has a range of 8 blocks but does not have a damage limit. The Lightning class has a range of 16 blocks but has a damage cap of 300%. Thanks for listening and good luck with your games. Please like and subscribe.